starts. Welcome to the official Quarantine After Show, hosted by me, Corey Stewart. I'm so excited to be back for season three of Quarantine. Can you believe we've been doing this for three seasons already? Say hello to my cooter collecting co-host, Kisos, who recently released a stellar new music video. You must go check out if you haven't already. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the extremely talented guest that we have this week, who comes with a shortcut to world peace, after show guest Neo Ten Y, please give them a clap in the chat. Give them love and follow them at the command that I'm about to put in the oh, chat. Shit. Oh yeah, I forgot. We're out of practice, y'all. Give us a We're second. We're way out of practice. Uh, I apologize <laughs> in advance. Co-host? I, I, have one. I think it should be exclamation I didn't mean to guest. Yeah, I shouted myself out on accident. And Kisos, I have to let you know that I saw your blazer and I was like, I gotta pull something out now because I can't just be, oh, and now we're I all just, in black. I realized I never exposed my titty. Like well, that was the, and that what was a the shame. whole look. And oh, what well, a shame. I'm glad you saved it for the off the show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know what, it makes sense. In <laughs> right. fact, let me unbutton. Spins this in the fun party in the back. We're going to all be showing skin eventually. I'm the one that is the most stressed, and that's probably uh, a good thing. So, Neo, where are you joining us from in the world? I'm in London, and we invented the mutant COVID, so I take no responsibility for that as vegan. <laughs> but um, it was it was snowing today, and it's like, yeah, it's nice. cute, you know? Kind of like, this is a really fun day though. I'm very excited to be here and quarantine was like amazing. He's so uh, I was like shook. It was really so fun today. Up. I mean, yeah, it's always fun, so but awesome. it just felt really yeah. refreshing. We were just yeah. talking about how beautiful your background is today and we're so excited Stunning. for the show. Thanks. Where we is this in like your apartment? Like, is this your bedroom or like your no, kitchen? This is, the, this is one half of the living room. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, when you're going to watch your favorite shows, you just hop on top of one of those speakers and get comfortable? Is that how that works? Yeah, I mean, I watch stuff on my laptop, and we don't have a television, because we're a bit, like, Honestly, yeah. civilizations. Yeah. Most people don't. Here. No, you're a millennial yeah. or a Gen Zer. I'm not bringing up age because I don't want to reveal my own. So, we'll just continue on with the show. Um, <laughs> the, you know, doing my research for you, I found out a lot about you, and I use the most reliable source in the world, Wikipedia. So... Oh, you have a Wikipedia? Oh, yeah. Neo's yeah. the real deal. What? Why do you think they're Ooh. our premier guest? Of course, we have to have someone I mean, I who has that. the clout. Jeez, I didn't know you were Kisa's Wikipedia with famous the though. Program. That's a whole new level. <laughs> the, only platform I, the only platform I can't control. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I use it for my research. I have to grab the stuff that is yeah. user generated. Uh, tell us a bit about how you came up with the name Neo 10 Y. I, I would love to know. I'm very interested. All right. So originally in biology and zoology, there's a word which is neoteny, which is N-E-O-T-E-N-Y, and that means the retention of childhood characteristics in the adult. So the spiritual idea of like going with your uh, heart open and going with your inner child. And so I loved the word straight away, and I was like, this is a great word. And then I was like, um, yeah, at that stage where I had to like put it into like the system for the first time as an artist. And then mm. I was like, Neoteny was like, you just didn't have that like vibe. And I was like, you know, I started this project completely anonymously because I did a little bit of like controversial stuff at the beginning. And then, um, so I made Neo 10 Y. So it was like this like masked character, vigilante kind of pop star vibe. And, Reaper Vendetta. Uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> totally. I was wearing that anonymous mask and all of that. Like, it's just like silly stuff, you know? And then, but I had like this whole like, construct of it being like just Neo 10 Y and it's a little character and then over the last three to four years the name has unveiled itself to me and because if you think about it more it's the one and the zero is both pieces of binary code and I'm, right. a, non-binary I'm a non-binary person and then we've got the uh, parallel with my birth name which is Nikhil Bakker and Nikhil means complete in Sanskrit so one and zero together is complete binary code. So my name mm. does mean 10, I'm blowing. And then uh, the parallel is the N and the T and the N and the T. And so I know I have the most complicated name in the history of pop. I'm aware of this and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but I've learned how to explain it well as well. So I hope. So it has the, N, the NT and the NT parallel as well. And then the Y is like, I have a Y chromosome curiosity and like, 
um, asking questions is so important to like my philosophies as an artist and so it all ties together so beautifully and this is one of the ways that like I'm always like this is how I know the universe exists because I'm not this clever. I love that so much. Like right, you yep. put so much thought into it. I wish my parents put as much thought into naming me. You said that Nick means complete. <laughs> Corey means incomplete. So it's really interesting that that's where we're sitting today. Um, I just think it's so cool that that like it 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 very much describes your music. And I always love when like stuff reveals itself later. But also it just fits you so well. Like you said, Completely. it sounds very mysterious. Um, it's kind of like a worldview in its own way, like neoteny and like oneness, uh, um, the concept of oneness and yeah. that we are all one and that we are all connected and that is that is what you know that is like love energy and understanding that this is like a group project. Right. I love that. You Oops, started a fashion line back, I think, in 2013 and worked with Will I Am. Is that not correct? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. insane. Can I please know more immediately and please tell <laughs> our guests for Christ's sake? Yeah. So we made a, a biker jacket with an inbuilt camera um, because uh, it was like a small camera that was built into like the lapel and so you could record your whole day and take photos your whole day and like document what? your live experience, right? Um, and we made that with recycled coca-cola bottle It was actually Ooh. a black jacket, but it was all upcycled. It started because mm -hmm. of the old coca-cola bottles and then that was turned into like plastic and then that was turned into a fabric and then we were working with coca-cola and will I am and Harrods, because Will I Am was curating the area in Harrods that it was stocked in. So it was like we did this whole like launch event with Will I Am, and like it was like cute. It was really cool. It was really, he's a, he's so amazing. But I've never worked with him musically. Maybe one day. I yeah. feel like that's yeah. the next evolution. I mean, you you've got Jen Patel that is coming. You've yeah. got Will I Am's number in your phone, so I mean, you've got to use it, Neo. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm so focused on like being just like me at the moment and just like this. Of course, you know, like this wider concept that I just wanted to like focus on like me. But in the future, I'm so open to like loads of collaborations and stuff like that. Amazing. Um, well. One of the things I also learned about Neo Ten Y while I was doing my research is that they studied law in school. So of course, this led me to think, well, you know, this show wouldn't be the again. show it is without some sort of game, and that brought me to the game that we're going to play first today. It is called M I Legal, and here is how oh. it's going to work. <laughs> no. Uh oh, we're gonna get out there. <laughs> I've done a bit of law studying myself and found some very peculiar laws that are actually in effect all over the UK. I've noted my favorites and okay. made up some of my very own laws as well, which I'll recite out to Kisos mixed in with the real ones. Kisos will have to guess okay. which one of these laws is true or false. And uh, after that, uh, once Kisos makes his guess, Neo will confirm or, you know, let us know that that's actually something that Corey made up in his twisted head. If Kisos okay. gets one of the answers wrong, we both have a bucket of ice with us. We will take an cool. ice cube with each wrong answer and place the ice cube down the back of our, as the Brits say, pants, underwear. And we'll have to sit on it for the rest of the game. By the end of the game... Am I allowed to put it in my titty thing? No, I want it in your pants because I want to see you soil yourself today. That is the okay. way this show works. So, what yeah. we'll do is uh, start off with the first one. How about? Let's see how this goes. So, the first law that is either true or false that you will let us know what you think Kisos is. Is it yeah. legal... To be, or sorry, it is legal to be drunk at a pub. It is, oh my God, I'm screwing this up already. This is exactly how I want it to go. Yes. It is <laughs> illegal to be drunk at a pub in the UK. Let's go with false. Neo? Uh, true. 
It is true. I was going to say, define drunk. It's illegal to be drunk at a pub in the UK. So that means that we have okay. to take our ice and put it down the back of our pants and sit on it, which is what yes, I like to do in my spare time anyway. So this is really easy for me. That's near the it's other. Going areas. in, baby. Woo! All right, right where we like it. Okay, I the next that. law. We're going to start moving a bit quicker. It is, le it is legal to shoot a Welshman with a longbow within the walls of York on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, God. Theo, what is it? Of course. It? Uh, I have the answer. It is false. So, another piece oh. of ice goes down the hatch for all I of us. I remember... I don't know. Uh, Neil told me something else before the show. I don't have to do any of this stuff. I'm like... <laughs> really... No, you just, no, you just enjoy just us. Neil just sits and I, I watches us. Okay, so... I don't, uh, like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, like, that tapped into, like, British culture as much as I am, like, I'd say I was a kid who grew up on MTV and Nickelodeon, and I'm, like, tapped into, like, that kind of, like, American online mindset as opposed mm. to, you know, like, British culture. And so some of these things, Corey, I didn't even know. So like, we're teaching even... you today as I well. Know. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm learning. This is better than law school. <laughs> That's a quote we're going to use for our next promo. Um, all right. It is legal to keep a pig slot, a pigsty on the street in front of your house if you have ever been awarded the freedom of Yeovil. Yeah. Neo? <laughs> It's false. It's false. It's false. Oh, oh, okay, great. Ah, I gotta I'm, tell you. Odd. The odds that I'm guessing wrong, it's 50 times 50 is 25 times, it's 12.5%. Okay, so the chance sure that I get the next right. one right is high. Okay, well, some of the ice is moving up the canal, and I'm not too excited about it. Oh, yeah, mines it. are deep inside. Yeah, They're going okay. up, up out my mouth. The next one is, it is illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. Now that one is definitely true. What does that even mean? It's true, it's true, it's true. It is true. Basically, if you are holding or handling salmon in any way in the UK, apparently it's it's illegal to be doing it suspiciously. Whatever that means, I would love to know, and maybe it's something that we should all be pursuing after this. Honestly, I think we should get rid of the law because it sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> Against the salmons of the world. They're just trying to swim upstream. All right. You see, like I'm vegan, so I can't even endorse like half of these things. Like, I'm just, like, this <laughs> That's is true. What's the other thing? The pig it's style like a list of abused animals. Exactly. True me, enough. Like, oh true enough. Um, okay. The next one. Is it? Or, sorry. It is illegal for women to wear or own garments with pockets. Oh my god. Uh, false. Neo. Yes. Yeah, false. Is this? Is that real? Is that the truth? No, that's false. So th they are allowed to own garments with pockets. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh wait, I just stuck an ice in my ass. You know what? I'll leave that out. I, so I don't want to waste the ice. There, there are a few pieces of ice in my ass. I don't mean to spoiler alert anything. But... Well, I didn't even have to because we got that one correct. <laughs> correct. Okay. The next anyway. one is. Uh, it is illegal to be in charge of a cow while drunk. So basically, you can't be in charge of me while you're drunk. I would hope so. True. I think Neo? we should be cows, and I think we should be cows, and dairy should be illegal, and veganism should be enforced. Let's do it. True enough. The uh, that that particular law, true or false? Um, it's true. You shouldn't be in charge of cow at all anyway. True. Cow should be in charge of Unless you're just leading it out to the pasture and yeah, letting it I'm go. Yeah, <laughs> completely. I'm just free going, that bit. I'm going to skip to the last one, Neo. So it is illegal to stand within a hundred mar a hundred yards of the monarch with no socks on. True or false, Kiso? True. You can't look like a mess. Uh, it's false. It is false. So our final ice goes in the hatch, and away we go. Put it in the poop chute. There we go. That feels comforting. You know I'm definitely going to be needing to remove remove these before we I'm continue like... because I cannot sit on this forever. But I feel this like we owe actually... it to the audience. Well, it is a nice little cool down. I think I lost a piece of ice in the war, to be honest. But um, what I think we should do, Kisos, before we move on to the next part of the show, is get up and show people what we've created in our swamp. 
So, <laughs> in our swamp. Whatever, okay. Whatever do, I may have to take out my earpiece for this. This is oh what my we've God. got going on here. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's going down uh, the way. Sounds <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Did you really do Oh my God. This is cool. <laughs> Actually, it's a little hard. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. This is going to be so comfortable to do uh, the whole show in. Just a little bit of a wet ass. Y'all are going to watch me move these ice out my ass real quick. Okay. <laughs> We're ready. Now, Neo, after I have tormented you with this game for this yeah. period of time, we're now going to yeah. move into something a little more serious and quite frankly more entertaining because we are going to see yes. an acoustic version of your newest single, Shortcut to Peace. To World Shortcut Peace. to World Peace. Yes. <laughs> so Hi, I'm Neo Penwai. I'm a recording artist from London, and on January the 1st, I released a single called Shortcut to World Peace, and uh, it's out on all streaming platforms, and it's had some amazing uh, reviews, and I just wanted to, like, share an acoustic version of it with you guys tonight. So, yes, and this is our very first time we've ever had a performance on the After Show. very first time. So. I'm super pumped about it. So I was from this My head said I'm a lone star, a fish in the utopia is what I need. Now I know a shortcut to world peace. They talk about ego like the villain, but if we want freedom, well then I'll need you with me. So we can show a shortcut to world peace. I wanted to write this song. So we can all sing it together and manifest freedom. Manifest freedom. We're in a down low now. Optimism is all around us. Yeah, it's a cycle. And we're spinning around. They talk about ego like they're a villain. But if we want freedom, well, then I'll need you here with me. So we can share. A shortcut to world peace, so we can share a shortcut to world peace. I think it's a basic philosophy of non violence. So everyone's got what they need. Well, with love and kindness. Now I think that we're so close to being inside. They talk about ego like they're a bill. But if we want freedom, well then I'll need you with me. So we can share a shortcut to world peace. Thank you very much. That's out on all streaming Woo! platforms now, and there's a uh, you can buy a CD, an 11 track CD, which uh, I will show you now. And I just did a track by track paper magazine so you can Ooh. go and have a read of it to see if um you vibe with if you vibe with me if you vibe with the sound if you vibe with the message like support independent artists um buy the well peace and manifest love and freedom and freedom and it would be so awesome that was amazing. Literally. There's a link in the chat, actually, where you can go to uh, buy Neo Ten Y's album. Uh, it's right there, uh, Neo Ten Y dot space. So please, if you're able to go support Neo, the song is amazing. That was amazing. Thank you so much for being our first performance on the after show. What a way to do it, right? Literally, when I saw that, when I saw that single art for the very first time, I was just like, oh my god, this is 
so gorgeous and then like you said like releasing i'm all about hearing all these healing tracks especially like this year totally because we need it so i love it and i love that performance thanks Kisa. So, yeah i'm a i really believe in creating with intention and i um i'm really like focused on like manifesting that for all of us as a collective and i feel like you know when, when you hear the song like in full production it has like so many feels as well and there's like it, it totally like trips yeah um in the middle a and then it has like an outro which is like a whole other dimension and yeah i uh, it's a really emotional piano led performance because i actually wrote the song on the piano uh this was like just a like a guitar version edit you know slightly different for tonight which i'm really happy that i got to play play for you guys so thank you so much for having me Thank yeah, you so much I love for it. doing Y'all, this it. song is so good. It's like, you can't, you can't really, um, you haven't experienced it until you've experienced the full version. Cause like Neil was saying, it's like tempo changes, different things and like so many like breakdowns and stuff. But I did really love hearing the acoustic guitar version. Cause it was like, felt very different and like, oh, I love it all. And if you I love go it all. follow Neo on uh, Instagram, you'll be able to go and click on their bio. And in there, you'll be able to go directly to Shortcut to World Peace on streaming platforms and listen to it all. So it's easy to find. Neo, you have a unique connection to the universe with your artistry. Tell Kisos and I a little bit of, more about that and how you've evolved yourself based on your connection to the universe. So I feel like I write uh, my a lot of conversations that are in my songs are between me and my higher self, universe, and me and us as a species. And you know, it's all very inclusive and connected the message of my art is and my lyricism and i have uh, a lot of like sort of constructs within constructs but like because there's a whole like music video dimension to it as well but when you re experience the, the the record the cd um it's like you know there's 11 tracks and it's you know crack and angel is track number 11 because angel number and stand yourself is track number 10 mm. it's like stand yourself and like shortcut is number one and i um dopamine is number three because it's also 333 the length of the track and then unrelatable autosexual is um number nine because it's also 333 and so there's like fibonacci and then there's numerology and there's lo lots of like detail in my universe and i think that you know i have to just be very like um, honest that I, connection that I have with anyone who listens to my songs and understands the depth of my artistry I'm just so grateful and honestly like I, I you keep me alive because without like, I wouldn't be here doing any of this stuff and like have this like message if it wasn't for the people that are supporting me so I'm so grateful well that's so Amen. Great. you can hear the emotion in your voice when you talk about it so I'm I mean, it's obviously something that you're very passionate about and you can tell. And that shows not just in the way that you speak about your art, but also in your performance and in the music that you release. So you should be very proud of that. It's amazing to see. Um, I, I want... Yeah, I mean, that's... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say real quick, that's why I've always been like drawn to your music. I remember, you know, like the... I don't remember what the first song I heard was. I, it might have been Dopamine. And I was just like, this is so unique, so different. And I remember, funny enough... Um, like a while back, posting a tweet of uh, something like everyone trying to be unique or something, but like uniqueness doesn't really matter. Like most people aren't unique and that's okay. I was, but I was also genuinely curious, like who is making like really unique music? And you were like me. And I was like, honestly, yeah, like completely. <laughs> so I just I'll think it's- I'll say it, I'll say it. I will yeah. say it. <laughs> you will. you for kisses or like acknowledging it because I'm, yeah. you know, like, I'm grateful. That. yeah but i do think it i do think it i do think i am a visionary i do think that i am the like like i think what i'm helping to like pave the way for is intention-led conscious art from an independent perspective so it is not walked by the system because that's the right. most true thing and the most authentic thing about this project right? and me this is me looking at myself as a critic it's not me looking at myself as me it's me looking at what the universe has created in this project and i am shook because yeah. <laughs> i cannot believe what i have documented and i feel like and i know it it's just like the connections that i have fostered because of this with the people that understand this and like we are this collective we are the future of humanity and we are like helping to open the minds of the people
people and we are galactic beings and we are in this together and i think that's like the most important thing it's like as long as we understand that we are all connected and that we can communicate on this way and i know i do it in like a complex way with this art and i think that that's just the way that it is for now and i'm just doing it like in the art but the more opportunities i get to speak like this with you and to, like amplify this the better mm -hmm. it's cool so right thank you a little bit well going from a very serious note to something a little more silly it is time now for everyone's favorite part of the after show say it with me kisos squirt oh, squirt and yeah. tell no. we have asked our guest neo 10y to bring three things that have meant the most to them during this tough time of the pandemic and tell us a little bit more about it so, uh, Neo, if you wouldn't mind walking us through your three things that you selected for today in your squirt and tell, and I know one of them you have to maybe wrangle. Yeah, I'm not gonna say, but I can wrangle them. But ten, come here, little baby angel. <laughs> but if if they come, it will be amazing. But I would just like to like say, obviously, creating this project is like for me the most important thing that's like helped me stay connected and i am infinitely grateful to the universe for that and for this like mega distraction where I, I get to live in this like beautiful artistic creative futuristic utopian bubble and mindset because i believe in this and us so much and so uh that's why like, you know and it's all like packaged up now and it's the first time i've done anything physical just materialist so i don't really like you know i like i love that sound is here within the Mm. soundscape of the universe i love that thing's so beautiful but like you know like people love cds and i think it's so nice to see my stuff like in a little package so i'm really right. happy and grateful for this it's like the little gift from my, the universe yeah i'm grateful to my little dog who i don't know where he is he's so cute but 10 it can come here and then i'm grateful to like plant medicine and weed and i know we're on an international channel now so i'm just going to say it i'm really like pro cannabis mm -hmm. and i think that it is a plant that has really helped me be the best version of myself and i'm very grateful for the consciousness expansion that cannabis has like given to me and so i'm like really grateful to plant medicine so cannabis and mushrooms i'm like really like pro all of that absolutely i think cannabis needs yeah. to be legal everywhere i do not understand anywhere that yeah. has not done this yet canada obviously we're full of cannabis everywhere here i know spots in the states and the uk i'm not sure of what's happening there is cannabis being widely accepted in the uk or is it something that they still have to grow so on? cbd has been legal since november 2018 okay and so we're still like legalizing cannabis more um bit by bit i guess it's gonna happen but there's a lot of like um government bodies who want to make money off of this of course and so there's like yeah, but I like have a project in the cannabis space here because I believe in it so much. And oh wow! Kind of have something called CB CBD coded, so it's www.cbdcoded.decoded. -E oh um, nice! And okay. It's, yeah, I will and put it in the chat. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you some pieces. That'd be great. Wait, did you say dot com? Uh, dot com. Yeah, cbdcoded.com. Okay, I think yeah. I wrote it right. Uh, and then so. Like, like obviously in America, CBD and THC and everything is legal in loads of places. But CBD is the part of the plant that is non-psychoactive, so it's the quickest way for us to legalize mm -hmm. the healing benefits of the plant in the UK as quickly as possible, so that people can benefit from it, so people can like heal from the plant. But yeah, so that's like really important to me too. Amazing. Cool. Yeah, I love that. Kiso, so I was thinking maybe it's time to give away our fifty dollars gift card right now for <laughs> Threadless. Is that something we would like to do? So yes. Nia, just I'm sure you saw on the main show that we've teamed up with Threadless yep. in order to uh, give some people in the chat rewards for tuning in and sticking with us during the shows. Um, so Kisos, I will leave it to you to draw someone and hopefully that person is stuck around in the chat and we'll be able to give them a little something, something. Okay, let me see. I'm drawing. I clicked something wrong the first time. And by the way, everyone, if you're loving this song that you can hear underneath uh, the show today, it is I L Y, obviously by Neo Ten oh. Y. So um, go check that out too. It's on all streaming platforms. It is Mysterio XOXO, who I just saw here. Are you Ooh, still here? Mysterio, are you still here? Are you still clapping? Go in the chat and tell us you're here if uh, if you are, and we will reward you. Uh, oh, awesome. Okay, so 
we will send you a message. I will email afterwards. you the code later. Exactly. And you yes, will be able to use that on Threadless. And thank you, Threadless, for giving that to us. Now, it is time for our final game of the show. And this game is called Oh My My Neo 10Y. And basically, how oh, this, this game goes is uh, it's inspired by the board game Dirty Words. And I have sent Kisos a full list of Neo 10Y's discography. I believe, uh, Kisos, that should be in your Discord as an image um, in a chat between us. Um, I'll be giving Kisos one clue, and he will have to okay. guess which of Neo's songs I'm referring to. He will have one guess, and Neo will confirm if his guess is correct. If he gets it wrong, both of us will have to put something sour in our mouths. Because let's face it, Kisos not being able to read my mind at this stage of our relationship always leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Today, okay. I've Amazing. got more heads. Um, which are absolutely disgusting because I'm I a, love them. Oh my god, I, I'm a glutton for torture apparently. And Kisos is furiously chopping up a lime over there. I can see yeah, the I, image this, wiggling. I have a paring knife and I should have got a real knife. Amazing. Um, I went to try to go get a sour candy today for this, but um, You failed. I got failed shit on. All. I have heard. That's very and, uh, good also, luck, there though. wasn't yeah, there wasn't anything at the first place, and then a bird shit on me. So I was like, I'm gonna go home. I feel like I'm supposed to go home. <laughs> so, Neil, are you confident with uh, telling us the answers once Kisos has made his guess? Yep. Yeah? Okay. I have the answers here. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, oh Kisos. <laughs> Whatever you... happens, Nick, just know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't take it personally, but this is a great way for us to be familiar with Neo Temwise discography if you aren't already, which I'm sure a lot of you are by now. Um, so, the first clue is, I do my best work inside you. Kisos, you have one guess and one guess only. Poems to fuck to. Oh my god, so close though. <laughs> Neo Tim, why so what's close. the answer? It's dopamine. I do my it's best work inside you, dopamine. <laughs> I do that. So I now that. we will have to put our sour piece in our mouth and don't chew on a kisos, just leave it in there. You gotta like shove it to the back or something. Oh, you cut them big. All right, well. Okay. No, okay. Actually, that's hard. I'm gonna give it's you. Just a little. I'm gonna give you the second <laughs> tip. All right, the second clue. Okay. I sometimes. Wait, yeah, let's have um. Wait, I was just gonna say how Neo sang it last time. Let's have Neo sing the line each time too. Mm, okay. Um, so, the second one is, I sometimes come when you least expect it. Is this one poem to fuck to? <laughs> oh my god. Neo? What was, this is L-Y, but why is it I-L-Y? Which part of I-L-Y is it? I love you. This is the acronym okay. I-L-Y, right? Yeah, yeah. So, sometimes people say I love you when you least expect it. Oh, I get it. Okay. Right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, sometimes I I go off on a tangent in my mind, and I think that people are going to yeah, understand it. Um, so anyway, do you want to sing that I'm line lost. from it? I'm in the world. Okay, the next uh, clue is, sometimes I have a hard time finishing. Oh my god. Have a good think about this one, Kisos. These are so hard. <laughs> uh, should I just I guess the same one every time? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I feel bad picking the same one over and over, but I feel like at no, some it's point... No, it's gotta... feedback loop. It's, feed, it's, it's feedback, feedback loop. loop. I, that. I understand that because it's like your feedback loop is about the infiniteness of reality and the universe and like the... It's like the shape of an eight, right? And that's why it's number eight on the record. Because it's mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. sideways. It's clever. an eight, yeah? So I understand what you're saying when you say sometimes I have a hard time finishing feedback loop because you're doing this, you're doing, it's like Grand Bay. You're like doing the same exactly. loop, Exactly. Right? We get each but other. No! I totally un it's, misunderstood this. I totally misunderstood like this game. Oh, with, did with you? The universe. What yeah. did you misunderstand, Kiso? Well, at what... first I thought I thought you were giving um, lyrics. Oh, no, no, no. So I'm just giving you clues to guess literally what the name of the song is. So, now that we've professionally made this game wonderful, let's move on to the fourth clue, which is what happens when Kisos films himself in the act? And remember, you're guessing the song title that best applies to the clue I have <laughs> given you. Unrelatable autosexual. <laughs> Good guess. A reality check because they told me that this is all I Wait, what's that reality I check? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What happens when Kisos films himself in the act? It's a reality check. All right, the next clue is <laughs> the next and final clue is post climax glow. Those are my three favorite shows. Um, uh, what? Uh, host climax. Glow? I made them too hard. I'm gonna admit it. I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong. But I understand it because you're talking about love, and love is the shortcut to world peace. Exactly. Right? Look, Nia, okay. we're we're yeah. really making it happen. I should have made you guess because maybe you would have. <laughs> yeah, Paul. I have the answers. I have yes, the answers. You have all the answers. Why? The universe is but telling Neo Ten Y, but not Kisa. I would have struggled. I would have struggled like Kiso's, but I understand it now that I have the answer to that. Right. It's okay. Good. But it's true. And love is the shortcut to our peace, and it's just so important that we like choose love at every step. And that's why I, I'm always like, oh, you've got to be vegan because, like, if you are killing things that have feelings and beings that have feelings on the planet, then it's like really bad karma. And a vegan future is the, a solution, and it is the solution. Absolutely. Because it's just like the philosophy. Of, it's the philosophy of non-violence, right? And so basically, you are choosing love and you are choosing to feed yourself and nourish yourself with love energy as well, you know? And it's like a very like healing process and we're all getting there. And that's why like, I know everyone knows that vegan is the future. I'm not like, I'm not, not, not aware, but it wasn't always like this either. And for me, even like talking about veganism in the space a few years ago was like so different from like how I can talk about it now. And like, I really like believe in this philosophy for, to cure world hunger, to fix the water systems, biodiversity, global warming, climate change, the planet, personal and collective health, to end pandemics because this pandemic was started by animal agriculture. All of that stuff is all connected, right? And if we deconstruct speciesism, then we, it helps us deconstruct racism, it helps us deconstruct sexism, it helps us deconstruct homophobia and transphobia and all of this stuff. And so basically, like, a non-binary, vegan, pansexual future of oneness for all would be so beautiful and I'm like a massive fan of that and that's what Utopia looks like to me. And there Amen. you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I love the guitar in the background. Non-binary people. Uh, that is the truth and Neo 10 y is spitting it today. So, with that said, I want to thank Neo 10 y so much for entertaining us with their music and giving us so many insights and beautiful things to think about and really chew on after this show. Um, I want everyone to go and buy Neo's CD, which the link has link. been in the chat and we'll do it again, exclamation guest. I want to thank my co-cooter Kisos for taking me on this ride with him. Ooh. And I look forward to seeing what Neo 10 Y does in the future because I know it's going to be nothing but greatness. Yeah, Thank I'm so excited because this is like the end of such a, or not the end, but you know, it's like the package of a chapter. Exactly. Yeah, 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 like, 100%, 100%. So what's next? So okay. there's like some songs that are, on, that are not out from the CD yet. So they will go mm. on streaming in the first half of this year, probably. And mm. then we can expect something like really like unique at the end of this year. And that's like Amazing. what I'm going to focus on. And I feel like that's what the universe is telling me to do. 
and I feel really like proud of this era and this whole like body of work on a video level which is separate from the the from the sonic level and I'm just like I'm like I'm very grateful to everyone who's been supportive of me and to who's supportive of world peace and who's supportive of the message and like who understands me because I'm not your typical world peace advocate either I don't look like what you would expect some like UN ambassador or some um you know uh, Nobel right. Peace Prize winner to look like necessarily but that is the direction for me and this art and this project and this message and I I want to create with intention always you know and I have like heroes but even if you listen to Crackhead Angel and Unrelatable Autosexual they're still very much within that realm of like self-realization and their self-realization songs for me they might be a little bit more personal and obviously you know I have historically used like controversy to like you know it's just like it's just it's part of who i am right and mm -hmm. it's just like that vegan stuff on bbc3 that went viral and i've always had like these little weird moments right and like i just feel like i don't know i i, I just don't want any of that to distract from the message of anything else when it's all to like point towards this message of like love and like expansion of consciousness so that we can like you know be like these forefront in like independent pioneering thinkers that are like unsullied by the music industry and the, the like ways that it and i think that if we yeah we all do that, i, I love i love chatting with you guys because i know that you really get this like it, the independent thing and you're like pushing boundaries ethos in like so many ways and quarantine is like such a big part of that and i'm so like proud and genuinely like honored to be a part of your universe as well you know in that sense so thank you so much for like platforming my staff and for like sharing me with your like of course just, well, I, you know i don't even know you know i don't even know how to use twitch properly yeah <laughs> I mean, you, I only, you're like the, you're the only people i like know on you know what i mean so it's like really mm -hmm. cool. thanks so much yeah it was a pleasure to have you yes thank you so much and with that guys we will see you next week for the next episode of quarantine in the quarantine after show thank you everyone and goodbye Bye.